Hi, I'm Roy Robertson. Today on Good Business San Diego, we welcome back Jim Battrell. He's a former U.S. Marine and the founder of the Jim Battrell Real Estate Team with EXP Realty. You can reach Jim at 1-833-600-SOLD and at jimhasthebuyers.com. So, Jim, we always talk about available inventory, the housing shortage. So what do you recommend for people that are trying to get themselves an advantage in this market under these circumstances and get into the home they want? Well, yeah, it is hard. Um, what I can say is if you've been out there searching for a home and you just can't find what you want within your budget, I would recommend that you open up your criteria a little bit. It is exceedingly rare that a buyer ends up buying a home that exactly fit within their original purchase criteria. Mm -hmm. um, I've purchased a lot of homes in my life, obviously being in real estate, right. and I can tell you that exactly zero of them fit within what my original criteria was. So I'd say consider making some adjustments. For example, if you are thinking you want Encinitas, also add South Carlsbad. If you're thinking of La Costa, I'd say add San Leo Hills. If you're thinking we need a four bedroom, consider maybe a three bedroom plus a loft. Uh, the point being, and the important part being, if the perfect home does not exist today that's within your search budget, right. it's never going to. Home prices are not coming towards you. They're actually going away from you. So you gotta, you gotta make a move now. Yeah, it's not just the home, it's the price too. You gotta be flexible there as well. This is painful, but you might have to come up a little bit more than yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, just like everybody, I've had budgets when uh, I've purchased houses. Um, however, uh, I think it'll, I can think of only one time I ever purchased a home that was origin within that budget. Um, so I learned to stretch my budgets a little bit. And uh, I also learned that when I stretched my budget a little bit, I got a house that is what I call my favorite place to be. Uh, and then I learned that owning my favorite place to be, while it's a little bit more expensive in the mortgage payment each month, that my overall life actually got cheaper. And so explain what it is that you mean by that. All right, well, when you live in a house that's your favorite place to be, um, you're going to find that you eat out less. You're going to find oh, that yeah. you go to the movies less. It's not because you can't afford to. It's because you don't want to. Um, instead of going out to you know, an $80 dinner for two people at Chili's or whatever it is, you'll find that you barbecue in your, in your backyard. Instead of going to the movies with the family and spend a bunch of money there, you'll find that you'll you know, make some popcorn and you'll have Netflix and chill with the family at the house in front of the big screen. Yeah. Um, so basically, I stretched my budget uh, and the rest of my life got cheaper. So I also realized, more importantly, that I was getting paid to live in my favorite place to be. So once I figured that out, the cost of the house became a lot less of a concern. So explain that concept that you got paid to be in your home. Okay, so we'll just go through my example. So I bought my first home in 1999. I was a young second lieutenant uh, carrying a rifle and a 100-pound pack. I didn't know anything about real estate, no license, no nothing. But what I did know is that I hated funding my landlord's retirement each month. I'd much rather fund my own retirement. So my wife and I, we bought our first house. Um, paid $249,000 for it. Remember, this is 19. Um, our payment was $2,600 a month at 9% interest, by the way. Uh, and we yep. sold that after two years for $350,000. So after paying um, my selling costs and paying my dad back, because I borrowed money from him to buy the house, I got a check for $80,000. So remember, the mortgage payment was $2,600 a month for two years. Multiply that out at $62,000. And also remember, I got a check for $80,000 when I sold it. That means I got my entire $62,000 back plus an additional eight dollars tax-free. I literally got paid to live in my favorite place to be. So yeah. once I realized that's what happens when you own, which I've done repeatedly, I became a lot less concerned about the price. I know I get my money back when I sell it, so it no longer mattered so much what the house costs. It's a right. huge advantage of owning over renting. Yeah, it's hard to keep that in perspective sometimes, but when you talk about it in that way, it makes complete sense. You will explain all the calculations uh, behind that philosophy when people call you. It's 833-600-SOLD. Jim Betrell, 833-600-SOLD, or jimhasthebuyers.com.